Hi guys! Are you up for some EK novelties? I know you are, and I'm here to share with you the freshest of the fresh and the newest of the new. No, seriously, if you have checked out our 360 virtual showroom and the section that says Quantum Universe 2021, you might have seen some things that caught your attention. Some of these products are still in concept phase, but we decided to show them to you anyway. We know how much you love new stuff. Let's kick off with the coolest of them all, literally, the Active Backplate Cooling Solution. There have been several attempts on the market labeled as Active Backplate Cooling, but were only using heat pipes. There were also some aftermarket backplate water blocks, which were connected with a set of not very practical tubes. However, EK has the first true active backplate cooling solution that is integrated seamlessly in a way that it doesn't require awkward soft tubing. We, liquid cooling enthusiasts, would like to liquid cool everything, of course, but why would anyone want to actively cool the backplate of the GPU? The answer is simple. The PCB itself is a huge heatsink. It has several layers of copper that make up all the electrical traces. It is great at absorbing heat from all other components on the PCB. Removing that excess heat from the PCB will lower overall temperatures of all components on it, even of those who are not directly cooled. Removing excess heat from the PCB will lower the overall temperature of all of the components on it, even those that are not directly cooled. The biggest improvements can be seen when cooling the areas with high dissipation, like the backside of the VRM, GPU core and VRAM. Lowering temperatures on electrical components by cooling the backside of the GPU will prolong their lifespan and make them more efficient, causing less power leaks. With the newest power-hungry GPUs that have their components densely packed, Every additional cooling is very welcome, since we all know that lower temperatures will also give higher overclocks and even more GPU boost. With flagship GPUs like the RTX 3090, which has video memory placed on the backside of the PCB, it's even more logical why additional cooling is needed. Also, the benefit of thermal pads between the PCB and the backplate is that they reduce coil wind. Thermal pads act as absorbers, since they are soft and could lessen the coil wind caused by the vibration of the inductor coils. Having a small water block on the backside of the GPU is a sturdier composition than just a regular backplate, so it acts as a better absorber of vibrations as well. Next up, we have a PC case. Well, not exactly a case, but it's our latest approach to open frame cases. Exciting, right? The idea is not only to have a modular case where you can add extra radiator mounts, but we also want to make the perfect display solution for your liquid-cooled PC. This open frame case offers a standardized VESA mount on the backside, meaning that you can hook it up to the wall or even use a regular TV or monitor arm-style mount to be able to move it around. This case design also supports a unique mounting system on the bottom that allows the user to mount it on the back side of the desk. Of course, while using it on a wall mount, this part can be removed. And you can expect more information about this neat product quite soon. The next eye candy we have here is a case-specific external cooling solution. Again, as a first of its kind, this product is designed for the Lian Li O11 dynamic case. Let's face it, a bunch of you already owns a O11D, since it's a great case for liquid cooling, but the number of radiators it can fit is limited because of its size. If you are one of those who are frequently upgrading their PCs with the latest hardware, you might find yourself in need of more cooling power. New CPUs and GPUs are just increasing in core count and power, which means more cooling is more than welcome. And our external cooling solution, which doesn't even have an official name yet, does just that. It seamlessly integrates with the case using the stock feet from the O11, thus providing an aesthetically unified external cooling solution. The external unit is planned to have a built-in D5 and a small distribution plate, which could channel the coolant between the two radiators that can be mounted inside. 
A blocking plate for the pump will be an option for those who already have a pump inside their case. Last but not least, we want to show you the next generation MSI MPGZ590 Carbon EKX liquid-cooled motherboard. It's based on the latest Z590 chipset from Intel and it will support Intel's next generation processors. The ideology of the product hasn't changed. It is meant to pack quality components, offer ample connectivity for gamers and efficient cooling for those high boost clocks. A monoblock cooling solution will efficiently cool the CPU and the VRM section, meaning you'll be able to exploit more performance out of your new CPU and enjoy gaming in silence. All of that and it won't even break your bank. And that would be everything I wanted to share for now. I really hope you enjoyed all of our teasers and announcements, so stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel and newsletters, because in the following weeks and months, all of this will become a reality.